While Matthew Perry has no doubt been busy revisiting Chandler Bing for the upcoming Friends revival, he's also made some major real estate moves recently. He spent some time during last year's lockdown in the easygoing luxury of his former Malibu beach house before putting it up for sale at almost $15 million, and also had his mansion in the sky at the Century Building in LA on the market for $27 million. With two lavish properties on the market, you've gotta wonder where Matthew moved to. And it turns out he downsized to a $6 million cottage in Pacific Palisades around the same time where he's currently living. Today we'll check out this contemporary home as well as a few more of Matthew Perry's properties. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Matthew Perry is a Canadian American actor, comedian, screenwriter and more who is best known for his famed role as Chandler Bing on the NBC sitcom Friends. The series ran from 1994 to 2004 and due to its insane popularity, he and the rest of the main ensemble cast were making $1 million per episode by 2002. Despite battling illness and addiction over the years, Perry has continued to work non-stop after Friends for the most part. Along with starring in a short-lived TV series, he has appeared in multiple films, including The Whole Nine Yards, Seventeen Again and more. The former Friends star and four-time Emmy nominee last appeared on TV as Ted Kennedy Kennedy in the award-winning miniseries The Kennedys After Camelot, and we will be seeing Matthew again in the much-anticipated HBO reunion of Friends. All things considered, the actor has amassed himself a net worth estimated at $120 million and has bought and sold some gorgeous real estate over the years. While he had put his glass-walled beachfront Malibu home on the market in 2020, as well as his luxury penthouse in Century City that even has a Batman room, Matthew downsized into a gorgeous modern cottage. Hey guys, it's Care the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I've been noticing a lot of copycat channels recently, but we're the original source for celebrity house tours, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and show your support. We post a new video daily. Today we're going to take a look at friend star Matthew Perry, also known known as Chandler Bing and where he calls home. This includes his current Pacific Palisades home, his two mansions that went up for sale, and more. The man does have some sleek taste when it comes to real estate. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat, and now, let's get into this video. While Matthew Perry has been on a real estate purge since 2020, he secured himself a charming new home at the same time, which is where he's currently living. In August of last year, Perry downsized his living situation, paying an even $6 million for a contemporary abode perched on a hill in the exclusive Pacific Palisades neighborhood in West Los Angeles. His new home spans over 2,900 square feet, with four beds and 4.5 baths inside, and while it's modestly sized, at least compared to his former properties, it makes up for its smaller size with views and clean line designs. The contemporary cottage was originally built back in 1965 as a mid-century ranch home, but the structure went through a mega remodel, replacing the previous flooring with dramatic wheat oak floors and adding recessed LED lights and floor-to-ceiling windows. Matthew's single-level home is glamorous to say the least, and the open floor plan allows for a perfect indoor-outdoor flow, while the house is also equipped with smart home tech and a facial recognition security system. Walking in the large front door, there's a massive great room with living and dining spaces and wall-to-wall -wall glass that opens up to the lawn and views of the Pacific. There's also a glittery modern fireplace on one side of the room and a formal dining table on the other. Then the modern kitchen has a chic concrete breakfast table, fancy appliances, and a wall decked out with hanging pot racks. Besides the wine cooler here, there's also a floor-to-ceiling wine rack to display only the best bottles, while another wall in his kitchen is made up of floating planters used for an indoor vegetable garden. By the looks of it, most of the bathrooms have been designed modern and artistically, while two of the bedrooms are actually master suites. Matthew had his pick of which spacious bedroom would be his, but both offer wall-to-wall -wall glass sliders that open to private terraces and amazing views. Not to mention, the en-suites have Jack and Jill basin sinks, tubs, and a large steam shower, while the roomy walk-in closet was made of special cedar panels to keep pests away from any of the designer clothes. Perry's property is on top of a hill, but it's surprising 
surprisingly leveled and grassy. There's no in-ground pool, which is a bit of a shame for a pricey LA home, but at least there's a wood-sided raised pool and spa located on the cliff's edge for some killer views of the sunsets and ocean. Elsewhere in the yard, there's a large fire pit, and on a clear day, you're able to catch views all the way down the coast, even to Catalina Island. In recent news, Matthew finally unloaded his beachfront Malibu mansion in early 2021 for $13.1 million. The friend star listed it back in August 2020 for $14.95 million, and then adjusted the price a couple of times while he purchased it back in 2011 for $12 million according to property records. Perry spent much of the first half of 2020 at this two-story abode, posting numerous photos of it on social media at the time. The beautiful home is super contemporary and sits on a stretch of sand right on one of Malibu's most exclusive streets and on the beach, while inside it spans 5,500 square feet of space. There are four beds and 3.5 baths throughout, and a secure gate opens to a covered outdoor hall that leads to a glass front door and a spacious entryway. Here there's a steel and wood floating staircase while the living and entertaining areas are spacious and loft-like. There are warm wood floors and beamed wood ceilings throughout, while the main living area also has a fireplace in the center. Of course, there are also a ton of floor-to-ceiling windows and glass doors here that lead to a deck wrapping around three sides of the home. When the glass is pushed open, it merges seamlessly with the indoor spaces and lets in the ocean breeze. The living room is large, boasting comfy white furnishings and even a designer ping pong table, while the galley kitchen is fully open to the living and dining areas. The kitchen has custom cabinets, a center island, and top-of-the-line commercial-style appliances. At least one of the guest rooms here has a private bathroom, while Matthew's former master's suite boasts expansive views of the ocean and coastline and spans the full width of the home. The master bedroom has a private sitting room, oversized dressing room, and a simple but impressive deluxe ensuite bath. Just like the common areas downstairs, the master suite has the same floor to ceiling windows, which open to a private balcony overlooking the ocean. Elsewhere in the Malibu home, there's a movie theater with room for about 10, offering deep cushioned sofas, and there's also a small courtyard with a spa surrounded by exotic wood decking. The Malibu house was not the only real estate Matthew put on the market last year. In summer of 2020, he also listed a lavish penthouse property. The apartments on Friends are some of the most memorable cribs in TV history, including Joey and Chandler's man cave. If we were going off Chandler's design taste, we would say it's low key, but as it turns out in real life, Perry has an eye for luxury, which we've seen in his other properties. And this apartment is no different. The LA penthouse he put on the market was a real glow up from Chandler's place, and he first listed it for a walk whopping $35 million and then dropped it to $27 million. Located at the Century Building in Century City, Los Angeles, Matthew's former penthouse takes up the entire 40th floor of the building and is even referred to as a mansion in the sky. The Century is a luxury gated condominium complex that has top of the line amenities including 24-7 security and concierge, a large pool with cabanas, fitness studio, a movie theater, private wine rooms and more. Matthew bought the condo back in 2017 for $20 million, and the place is over 9,000 square feet throughout and entirely circular. Yes, the whole penthouse is round. There are four beds within the mansion sized condo, and Perry hired an architect and interior designer to transform the space into perfection. The interiors offer a bold color palette and plenty of velvet accents throughout, including a lot of the furnishings. His former condo is sleek to say the least. Just look at the comfy master suite with incredible views. In fact, there's views throughout the whole penthouse. House, not to mention four massive terraces that offer a ton of private outdoor space. The unique round floor plan allows for amazing 360 degree views of the city all around, with the ability to see the downtown skyline, the ocean, the Hollywood sign, and more in the comfort of your own home. There's even a luxurious screening room here that gives off total Batman vibes, so if you don't want to use the building's movie theater, you have options. Now, Mr. Perry has actually owned a ton of multi million dollar properties over the years, and it would take a long time to go through the full list. However, in 2018, he sold another one of his gorgeous homes we'll quickly take a look at, located in the Bird Streets neighborhood above LA's Sunset Strip for $12.5 million. He owned the Slick City View Modern House since 2011 when he bought it for $8.5 million. 
This home was first built in 1962 and later remodeled, and it spans over 3,800 square feet over a single level. The contemporary property had three beds and an ensuite bonus room that could be used for a home gym or office, while there were 4.5 baths throughout. The open plan living spaces all led out to a resort style backyard with views over Los Angeles, while a small and secure courtyard led up to the home with glass front door. There is a loft style open plan living room with hardwood floors, a fireplace, floor to ceiling glass sliders, and a bold chef's kitchen with green countertops. Other features of this home included a shallow pond with stepping stones that linked the living area to the yard, a covered patio, and an LED lit infinity pool. Not to mention the master suite added to the resort vibes of this house since it allowed direct entry out to the pool. Talk about easy access. And underneath the master bedroom, there was a screening room with exterior entrance. In the end, Matthew ended up trading this home in for the circular penthouse we previously looked at. So now we've taken a look at the homes of Matthew Perry and what did you think? Did you expect such luxury homes from Chandler Bing? Honestly, I didn't. But that just means his real life taste in real estate is pretty stylish. Out of the four homes we looked at, which was your favorite? Honestly, I thought that last one we looked at that he sold in 2018 was pretty cool. It might just be my fave because there was a pool, but the Malibu one has a pretty unbeatable location. Be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.